Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Stocks Around Us with me, Pizza. Guys, on a sunny, hot day like this, don't you just wish you could sip an ice cold, fresh glass of orange juice? Guys, did you know that you need like five of these oranges just to make one glass of OJ? I mean, I'm gonna need to pick a whole lot more if I'm gonna make breakfast for my entire family. Oh, another thing that you may not know about oranges is that there are like over 600 kinds of oranges in the world. It's impossible for me to name all of them, but some of the famous ones are called Valencia. These are famous for making orange juices. Valencia Mandarin. These are real orange names. Tangerine, Sainampung, and a lot more, which I don't remember. Now I probably can't pick all of these oranges today, but I do know a company that does a lot of fruit picking because they're one of the leading exporters and producers of canned fruits and juices in Thailand. Ladies and gentlemen, Mali Sampran Public Company Limited. Mali is known as the market leader of canned fruit in Thailand. The company basically produces two types of products, processed fruit and beverages. For years, Mali has been selling a variety of canned fruits such as rambutan, lychee, pineapple, mango, whatever popular fruit you can think of really. They also have canned tropical fruit cocktail. These products are all packed in different brands such as Mali First Choice, Farmer, and Mali Food Service. As mentioned before, Mali is very competitive in this product segment as they hold almost half of the entire market share. Their second business is in the beverage business, where Mali produces UHT and pasteurized fruit and vegetable juices. Again, they offer a very wide variety. For example, we can find over six types of orange juices alone made from different kinds of oranges. Other juices include grapes, apple, guava, black currants, all the way to pomegranate. You can pretty much find a juice of your favorite fruits. In addition, there is also a selection of vegetable juices like carrots, kiwi, red beet, and other mixed juices. More recently, in 2012, Mali introduced a sports drink made of coconut water under the brand Mali Coco. Furthermore, the company's product portfolio extends into the milk department. Mali has corn milk under the iCorn brand and UHT and pasteurized milk under Choktai Farm brand. Mali has a nationwide distribution network as they sell products through supermarkets, hypermarkets and convenience stores like 7-Eleven, and even in some schools. While increasing their distribution channels, Mali continues to innovate new products to meet the needs of their consumers. So here we are at the Mali office to get some fresh orange juice. We don't have to go to the field anymore. Anyways, we're also here to meet a very special guest. Ladies and gentlemen, she's the director and the executive VP of sales and marketing at Mali. Kun Rung Chat Kun Yarat. Thank you so much for having us here at your office. You're welcome. <laughs> so let's talk about your biggest business, which is the fruit and vegetable juices. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us a little bit about the industry right now? Mm -hmm. So the market here in Thailand actually has been growing in the past double digit almost every year, except mm. for this year only about 2% for the overall juice market because of the economy slowdown and everything. But I think the trend of the health conscious of the, the Thai people are adopting right now are helping our company. So right, because yes. everything of yours is 
you know, geared to healthy yes. drinks and everything. But also that means it attracts a lot more competitors into this segment. Yeah. Right. So mm -hmm. how would you categorize competition in the industry? Is it tough or is it? I would say it's fierce. Mm. <laughs> in the past, there may be only about three or four major players. Uh, you know, the three big ones <laughs> right. and uh, to uh, mainly focus on fruit juice and then one focuses on uh, veg vegetable juice. But uh, with the more uh, factories that do OEM for customers, so now it allows the new competitors to enter the market who can just do marketing and, you know, use the retailers as their outlet. I so, see. Yeah. Around what percentage is your market share for the juices in Thailand? For the premium juice, it's about 25% right now. Yeah. 25% in Thailand, but in you also Thailand, do yes. a lot of juice exports Yes, as we well. do. So now about to, to about 20 countries around the world, oh. uh, all in the ASEAN area and also in Europe, the States, uh, all over the world. Yeah. I see. And mm -hmm. uh, what is the proportion between your domestic and export sales? I would say 85% domestic and 15% export. So we just started export uh, not too long ago, about four or five years ago. I mean, some countries, we were, we've been there for about 10 years, but mm. in other countries, we've only been there for about three to four years. So we're still building ourselves in these countries, and it's harder to learn about the consumers there. Right. So we are growing slowly but steadily. <laughs> Which yeah. are the countries that you have, as, yeah, that you've been there for a long time? Mm -hmm. So the country, the neighboring countries, the CLMV, which is Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam, and Malaysia. Mm. Malaysia we actually just entered, but the other three we've been there for a while. And uh, in the Pakistan, we've been there for over 10 years, but we shifted from selling canned pineapples and the commodity product to our brand fruit juice. So mm. we're shifting the portfolio as well. Right, yeah. so more juices in yes, the exports, yes. I see. Mm -hmm. And within Thailand itself, how do you market the Mali brands? Is it in the premium or middle or lower mm -hmm. segments? So most of our fruit juice is in the premium category, which means it's 100% uh, fruit juice. And then you'll see later when I introduce you to our new product that even though Nielsen categorized it as a eco juice because of the percentage of the juice, we try to market it in a premium segment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about in the other mm -hmm. countries? Are they all in the premium segment? All in the premium segment, yes. So let's talk about your second mm -hmm. business, which is the canned food, mm -hmm. isn't it? How is the canned food market in Thailand right now? Uh, we have to say that uh, for Mali, canned fruit is uh, our ex expertise because it was our number one product when we first came out with the company right and uh, the market in Thailand is actually not growing really because the supply is very limited you know. so you have this challenge of you know shortage of raw materials mm -hmm. how do you manage with this amount of supply mm -hmm. when you have to sell for the whole year mm -hmm. so many people may not know this but uh, in one year for us to sell, let's say, Rambutan. Yes. It's only a period of one month where we can produce this because, you know, the season seasonality right. of the raw material. So we have to produce the supply for the whole year within one month and keep it in our warehouse. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And do you have problems with the price as well? Do the prices of these materials fluctuate? Yes, every year. So <laughs> so it's a kind of a guess and miss game, you know? So uh, some year the raw material is very expensive, some year it's very cheap. So we have to manage that with the retailers as well to try to keep our margin consistent. Mm -hmm. I see. So it's quite challenging for you with the yes. canned food. And you don't do any exports with this canned uh, food? We don't because we want to serve the uh, local consumers first because as it is, we don't have enough to serve them. Yeah. And how mm -hmm. big is the risk of floods and droughts for mm -hmm. the canned food? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> Some year we only, you know, we will forecast, let's say we want 100% of lychee and we only get about 40 percent so we have to manage the the inventory for each retailer or for each channel to try to not hurt anyone and mm. help them grow steadily yeah. so earlier you talked about some of your new products mm -hmm. could you introduce us to your new product yes so the newest member to uh Mali is the Mali Healthy Plus, which is a fruit juice mixed with mineral water. Mm -hmm. Fruit juice mixed with mineral water. Mm -hmm. And it's called? 
Healthy Plus. Mali Healthy Plus, mm. yes. So there are three variants. Uh, the best selling one is the Acelera Cherry, which has a very high vitamin C. And then the Yusu Orange, which is the oh. orange from Japan. Right. And then the Black Currant, which is the king of the berries. So. <laughs> and when did you launch this? Uh, about two months ago. Mm -hmm. What are the benefits we can find from this new product of yours? So we mix natural uh, vitamins from, from fruits, uh, the fruits that we select, and the minerals from the mineral water. So it helps the skin, yeah, for, especially for the ladies. Oh, <laughs> and again, you're targeting the more premium market. More premium market. It's uh, 25 baht, and it sell, it's sold at every retailer's. But, uh, as I mentioned, the Nielsen would categorize as a as a eco juice because of the percentage of the juice. But the way we market it and the way that it tastes or that it smells, mm -hmm. I would call it premium. Ah, yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. And overall, what is your strategy in developing these new products? Mm -hmm. So in the past, Mali uh, would come up with our own product. Uh, or new products based on our own beliefs. But now we go out to the consumers and we try to find what are the products they're looking for that they want to consume. And we do a lot of research, uh, consumers research. We test the taste, we test the concept, we test the packaging, and we do uh, 360 advertising or right. a campaign to really uh, make sure that there's an awareness in the market to try a product. So yeah. would you say that the trend or the mm -hmm. consumer demand now is in beauty products or what? Is that why you launched? I think uh, it's in every in every segment. Consumers now are more picky. So ah. you know, uh, one one group of consumers they want beauty products. One group of consumers they want healthy products. One group of consumers they want something else. So there's no such thing anymore as one product that serves all consumers. That's why we're trying to uh, narrow down our target segment. Yeah. Oh, very mm -hmm. interesting. Well, thank you so much for today. Thank you. Thank you. Show highlights. At the end of 2012, Mali's revenue was over 6.2 billion baht, growing by 26% from 2009. Its net profit was over 645 million baht, a growth of 70%. The net profit margin was about 10.3%, growing by 35%. Its ROE was at 79.9%. Mali's PE was about 12.67, growing by 140%, and its PBV was about 3, a growth of 44%. At the end of 2012, Mali's share price was at 113.5 baht. The latest price as of November 2013 was at 33 baht. Lastly, its market cap was over 4.6 billion baht. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Mali Sampran. Join us again next time for more company highlights with me, Pizza, and catch our show on Money Channel or on YouTube. Anyways, since I know now that this company has so many other fruit juices, I'm done picking oranges. Bye! <laughs>